10 things you must do differently in 2022, part 6. Part 5 echoed the need for you to go forward in the strength of the Lord in order to avoid making mistakes and ending up being stuck. Leveraging God's promises necessitates the need to entertain His presence and being led by His Spirit. Part 6. Prepare adequately for the future that you want. Isaiah 54 verse 2 says, Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. If your life outcome was not what you wanted in 2021, one possible reason for that is that you were not adequately prepared for it. Your success over any given time frame depends on your level of preparation. Therefore, do not expect to possess the future you want to see without being adequately prepared for it. While it could happen, the chance of it happening is very slim. In the scriptures, before Moses, Joseph, and David saw the change they wanted, they all had to go through their season of preparation. The principle of being adequately prepared was also taught in Isaiah 54 verse 2, where it says, Enlarge the place of your tent. For the purposes of context, God had promised an increase in Israel, but in order for them to receive what was promised, they were required to prepare adequately for it by enlarging their borders. Isaiah 54 verse 2 outlined three necessary elements of the preparation process. The first is to expand your capacity to receive more. The scripture says, stretch forth the curtains of thine habitation. To mean expand your capacity to receive more. Before you can receive more, your capacity for more must be increased. You can expand your capacity by doing more of what works and challenging yourself to do things related to your goal that you have never done. The second element of preparation that was highlighted was lengthening your cords or broadening your network. The blessings of the Lord typically flow through people. So by broadening your network with the right people, you increase the channels through which you can receive more from God. The third element of preparation mentioned in the scripture was strengthen thy stakes or strengthen thy foundation. You strengthen your foundation or belief system by growing in wisdom. With greater wisdom comes better decisions that position you to get to where you want to go. Life application. Getting to the future that you want is not beyond you. You only need to ensure that you are adequately prepared by conducting a personal planning session to identify and any and action ways in which you can increase your capacity, expand your network to include influences, and growing the level of your wisdom. Let us pray. Lord, help me to enlarge my capacity to receive all that you have in store for me. In Jesus' name, amen.